others, going for a walk means plodding along in pretty much one direction, usually along a path or track. Whilst you're enjoying the view, your dog probably has a different agenda. Many dogs, especially hunting dogs like our gun dog breeds, have a natural interest in following scent trails and even in chasing wildlife. As they become more confident at six to nine months old, many puppies start straying further and further from their owners during the course of their daily walk. One of the reasons for this is because we are so predictable. Your dog soon works out that no matter what he does, there you'll be plodding along behind him. You're easy to find and this gives the dog the security he needs to hunt further afield. One of the ways we can prevent our dogs getting overconfident and losing contact with us on a walk is to establish a different pattern of walking. Instead of walking in the same old direction, you need to change direction frequently. The best time to start this pattern is whilst your puppy is still small and very keen to stay close to you. As you can see, when I change direction, Rachel will follow me. Later on, when she's more independent, she won't have such a strong need to be close to me, but she'll have learnt that I can't be relied upon to be going in the same direction for very long. Every time you put your puppy on the ground, think about how you're going to keep her guessing as to which direction the walk will take. Try not to walk in any one direction for very long. If you need to attract her attention, clap your hands or run a few paces away, whatever it takes to keep her trotting after you. But don't use the recall signal for this purpose. It isn't a recall training exercise. The game is follow my leader and you're building great habits for the future. For more information on recall training and other aspects of raising a Labrador, visit www.thelabradorsite.com.